supplies. Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Ladriv, and I'm joined by Jaboy Vortex. We are always flying these FPV freestyle mini quads, but I want to do something a little bit different today because what you might not know, well, Vortex here, before he flew the drones, was really into helicopters. I flew something Heli just a little bit bigger. I'm excited about this one. I have not flown this thing for like two years now. So this is called a collective pitch Collective pitch helicopter. 3D helicopter. So that means it can fly upside down. It can fly upside down. Right, so what we're gonna do today is learn a little bit about how a collective pitch helicopter works. And then what I wanna do is get the best chase footage. Sounds really dangerous. Well, we just have to not hit each other. <laughs> That's true. So Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about what a collective pitch 3D helicopter is and how it works. So the frame of the helicopter is from a company called SAB and it's called the Goblin 700 Competition. The motor is made by a company called Scorpion. Speed controller is a Castle Creations uh, 160 amp speed controller. I've got some RJX Hobby servos, MSH Brain flight controller, and for batteries, China Hobby Line actually hooked us up with some brand new 6S 5000 milliamp 70C LiPos. And I'm actually gonna run these in series, so that's gonna take us up to 48 volts on this guy. The collective pitch helicopter works a little bit differently than what you're used to. Normally, the throttle stick actually controls the throttle. With on this, as soon as you arm it, the motor's just gonna spin the blades at 100%. And then the way you get lift is that you can actually see, it can make pitch both ways. So what you'll see is when you're in the center, the blades have no pitch on them. So it's just gonna spin. You're not gonna have any lift one way or the other. And then from center up, that's your positive pitch. That's what's gonna make you go up. Center down, it's gonna give you the reverse pitch. So now you're gonna go down. And what that enables you to do is go upside down, but still have the lift to either sustain inverted flight or actually to climb up. For your control to actually move it around, that's a little different too. And it's a little strange how that actually works. So when you move your right stick, you're gonna be moving the swash plate. That's what actually controls forward, back, left, and right of the helicopter. Essentially, whichever way that swash plate is tilted, that's the direction the helicopter is going to fly. And the way it does that, every time this blade crosses over that path, it's putting additional pitch on that blade in that direction just for that moment as it crosses the swash plate. So instead of like a quad where it's going to speed up or slow down two of the motors, it's actually going to change the pitch of the blade only in that direction that you're trying to go. As you may notice, this is a massive material here with this big head and these long blades. So in order to keep the entire helicopter from spinning out of control the opposite way as this, that's what the tail is doing. Making thrust going this way to counteract this from wanting to spin out of control. You can also add pitch either way with the tail too to make it spin that way or reduce the pitch even more to make it spin back the other way. The way that the flight controller on the helicopter works is different. Instead of sending a signal out to a speed controller to speed up or slow down a motor, they're actually connected to servos. It's going to give the servo a signal to counteract the movement. So if I tilt the whole helicopter to the left, the whole swash plate will try to stay level. Same thing backward and forward. If I push it forward, it's gonna tell the, the servo in the back to drop down to try to keep that swash plate level. A helicopter is a much more mechanical device. It's not just all electronics. So there's a lot more mechanical pieces going on. You're flying two 5,000 milliamp hour six cell batteries, basically a, a giant 12 yeah. cell. This is what I'm gonna be flying, also by China Hobby Line. 1,500 milliamp hour four cell. This gives me about three minutes of flight time on my drones, going all out at 60 miles an hour. How much flight time do you get out of all this? About three minutes. <laughs> so that should tell you just how much more power is being yeah. made. All right, so let's take all this out to the field. We've got Vortex gonna be piloting this giant helicopter. I'm gonna be flying my mini quad. We're gonna try and get the best ever chase footage of a 3D collective pitch helicopter. <laughs> Cameraman, if that thing is coming at me, you tell me to duck and I will throw my sh I'm so scared to have my eyes covered and while that thing is going whoa, 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 whoa. Did they always have 
a gyro? No, they didn't actually. They used to have what's called a fly bar, which was a weight that would just mechanically give it a gyroscopic effect. Oh, that's so informative. <laughs> what a troll. <laughs> Let's see what we captured here. Yes. Huh? I kind of struggled more than I thought. It's not easy. All right, this is the first run. Already, I am I think that's pretty sweet. But it's just, it's not close. I'm just basically doing like a normal. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so frightening. I'm like, I want to go close, I want to go close, and then you go, go! Oh, oh. Already, this is kind of exciting, actually. But it it's... seems like I'm only able to get kind of close to you when you're doing something predictable. If I could be really close to you when you're, oh, geez, when you do one of those pyro <laughs> flips, or if we could start coordinating. Yeah, that would be cool if we could get someone like, yeah. they call that a rainbow when you go like this. Because actually, this is better than I was expecting. I Me thought too. I totally flopped it, but I think it could be better. That's, that's pretty sick. We gotta get you to loop around me. Right. The other thing we struggled with out in the field was a camera person trying to keep up with yeah. it because it's really erratic. So I don't think we got as much on ground footage, mm -hmm. but I talked to Chad and he seems to have an idea for some sort of like rig that we yeah. can build. We're gonna put together some rig with PVC pipe and these sights and hook up the camera. And then that way, rather than the camera guy having to look at the screen on the camera and try to follow a little dot on a little LCD mm -hmm. screen, you can just point this, this whole body rig. Yeah. So basically then you're gonna try and keep the helicopter in these sights and that'll make for good framing on the camera. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's not gonna be totally perfect, but it'll be enough where the the helicopter's always on the screen. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's looking good. So let's get back out there tomorrow. I'm gonna fix my camera settings, get rid of some of that grain, try out our new rig, and hopefully put together an even more excellent montage. Sounds good, I'm excited. So I'm just gonna try to keep it as close to this spot right here as I can. Okay, let me know when you're comfortable with me doing like some sort of pass over. Go ahead. All right, well, I'm coming over to the side. That's one. All right, I'm gonna go for a really close one. That was close. Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> All right, I'm about to get going into the circles. All right, and you're going backwards and inverted? Yeah. Okay. That's the trick. Oh, I lost you. Oh, yeah. There it is, okay. Try to bring it, get in closer. I'm still pretty far. Okay, I'm getting closer. There it is. Oh, f yeah, this is it. We're getting there, dude. We are getting there. Hold on, I gotta change batteries. I got, I got, there was one moment. On the pass, I was, I held it. Oh, it was like right there. We gotta do it in the slow-mo because the slow-mo, all you need is, is three seconds and it's like. Thank you guys for joining us today. We set out to get the best possible chase footage of a big 3D collective pitch helicopter. And I think we got some really epic shots. I think we got it. All the batteries I'm flying today were provided by China Hobby Line. Thank you, China Hobby Line, for sponsoring this episode. They make everything that you would possibly want if you're doing this FPV mini quad thing. My favorite has to be 1500 high discharge. They rated at 120C, but they also have other options. They gave me an 1800 milliamp 
hour battery, which is a little bit larger, a little bit heavier, so it may not fly as well as a 1500 or a 1300 because of the extra weight, but it's gonna give you a little bit more flight time, which is really helpful when you're doing a shoot like this. And if you need even more flight time or if you're doing something long range, they even have 2200 milliamp hour batteries. And you flew a uh, 6S 5070C, but I actually took two of them to fly for as long as you could fly off of that one little just, battery. Just giant bricks. When you're not flying, you can uh, get your beefcake on. It literally weighs as much as the helicopter. It does. Two batteries. If you want to get stocked up on mini quad gear, including some China Hobby Line batteries, make sure to visit store.rotoriot.com, link in the description. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, do all the things, leave a comment. Don't forget and the bell. The yeah, bell too. There's a bell too if you want to get Ding. notified every time we upload one of these videos. Yeah. You know you want us in your phone being like, hey, Hey, watch our videos. We upload it. We upload it. <laughs>